Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic in the Help of God series is be careful who you set yourself against. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 14 and verse 13. And Asa and the people who were with him pursued them to Gera. So the Ethiopians were overthrown and they could not recover for they were broken before the Lord and his army and they carried away very much spoil. The last day we spoke about King Asa and how he faced an almost impossible situation that turned around for him after he cried out to God for help. Today I just want to speak briefly about being on the other side of the help of God. Now Zerah, the Ethiopian king or warlord or whoever he was, came out against Judah to bully them in essence. They knew Judah was a small group of people and felt they could use their position and their size to dominate and oppress them. Our uncle scripture shows us what happened after Asa cried to God for help. The Bible says the Ethiopians were so dealt with that they could not recover. It is a dangerous thing to set yourself against the person who God has chosen to help. Very dangerous. Recently, friends of mine, upon divine inspiration, set up a ministry that catered to people who would, um, who we could call the downtrodden in the society. These people were literally being the hands and feet of Jesus and would do their best to bring Jesus into the lives of people who had made wrong choices and were broken. As the ministry expanded, a lot of people supported them and wanted to help. But one particular man, a man of influence in the town, vehemently opposed them. He went around meeting other people of influence, trying to get them to oppose this ministry, oppose anything that had to do with Jesus and kick them out of their building and the town they were operating from. As the ministry continued praying for help, this man continued fighting for their um, closure. One day, news filtered in that the man had been in a car crash and had died. As I prepared this message, God reminded me of this story. It is a dangerous thing to set yourself against the help of God. This is not a call to pray death on people who oppose you. No, it is rather a call to watch your own life to ensure that you are not oppressing or setting yourself against anyone unnecessarily. While I was in Africa, I remember a member of our church was being harassed and bullied on her job. She cried to God constantly for help. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, there was a major office reshuffle and the person who had been harassing her was demoted and moved to a remote place. My dear listeners, God hates any form of oppression. Do not be the one that causes another to cry to God for help. It may be dangerous. The Bible says the army that came against Asa could not recover. They were broken before the Lord and his army. If a man breaks you, you can be remade. But if God smites you, to whom will you appeal? Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. We ask for wisdom to govern our affairs right. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. Remember, wrapped up in God's word. It's all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.